Happy Tuesday, everybody. We're back. Sorry, it's been a couple busy couple of weeks here. Uh, these past few weeks that we had. First was first of all is the workstation that we're on now. Uh, the other one was starting to not be sufficient enough. We uh, got some new uh, the new Adobe software for 2024 all rolled out and everything, and I was starting to have some some drop offs and some incompatibilities with some of the older uh, hardware on it. So I got a new workstation, which is uh, infinitely better. It's actually a, um, uh, instead of one, one processor, it's actually a dual processor. So, so it's a 24 core, 128 gig RAM, four terabyte workstation with big graphics card in it and stuff. Now it's made to do CAD modeling and stuff. So it should work out a whole lot nicer. Between that, a lot of projects been going on, had some contracts and stuff that I've been working with trying to see if we can get going through. Howdy, be here for now until big brother starts the date. All right, brother. Nice to see you, Brian. And, um, but, so, had a couple of contracts and stuff didn't go through, but, hey, it just wasn't meant to be. But, so, moving on forward with that, got some new marketing, some new advertising stuff, and working on a new project that we're going to have, hopefully, next year, I'll start rolling it out with. I got to see about looking at a, it's going to be a book. So, yeah, good, you two, bummer on the contracts not going through. Yeah, well, hey, it, it if it's meant to be, it works out, if it not... Always got other stuff. You always keep things moving. Good to see you back on. Thank you, Crazy Quilter. I'm glad I finally got everything back on. It would have been much quicker, except um, with the new Windows 10, with Windows 10 rollout and Windows 11, they really don't like you trying to migrate your solid state drive from your old computer to your new one. So I had to basically use, redo, and reinstall everything instead of just swapping the hard drive out and prepping it for assist, assist prep in order for it to swap out. So. I've literally had to do everything. As you can see down here, I'm missing. I'm still putting together some of my uh, my buttons on my stream deck and whatnot. But it looks like we got everything pretty much together on it. But anyway, so today I figured, being we're past Halloween, we're in Thanksgiving, fall season, and got Christmas coming up, that would work on a fall piece, maybe like a fall festival. I started I actually started working on it while I was playing with it a little bit while um while I was waiting for the time to get up, and I started a little bit early. So, but anyway. We're going to get to that. We'll do a Christmas art piece tonight. And um, we'll have some fun. See whatever whatever comes up. So let's go to the digital side. Got my glove on. And as you can see, I just started, I just threw, threw together a little char simple character that we're kind of going to have for this. And what I need to do is now is we're going to actually play with something called with a perspective tool that we're actually going to play with. And then we got, I think that's in the layers section. Should be underneath ruler and frame. Create perspective ruler. There we go. And of course, let me bring this down so you guys can see what I'm playing with with this. Uh, we're not going to do a three-point. We're just going to do a one-point perspective ruler, and it's a neat ruler because it basically pops up here on the grid to where you can actually kind of lay everything out. I still have Windows 10. Some days I'll switch over. Well, I still got Windows 10 also as well. It's just the latest software update with Windows 10. They really don't like it. Really, kind of before I could go through, uninstall some of the specialty drivers on the from the old computer, and there's a program called SysPrep you could take it through. Well, this one, with the newer update, firmware update on Windows 10 and Windows 11, it doesn't really like swapping back and forth through there with SysPrep anymore. It's really not that friendly. So I tried my best on it, and when it wouldn't work out, I put it back, made sure the old workstation still worked. I'll put that out in the workshop, and we'll keep moving computers down. So but anyway, with this, what I'm going to do is I... Can grab this with um it's kind of like actually sort of like a little bit of a 3d tool like here's the this is the actual like this is the center perspective point on it and what we want to do is we're kind of giving it a little bit of a lower shot for this so we're going to probably put the perspective down here by about our knees and stuff and these are just good guides that we can use to get an idea so we might do that maybe we'll bring it over a little bit just to where it's not quite centered We'll give, keep, give it just a little bit off center on there that way so it's not totally symmetrical. It gives a little bit of asymmetry there with it. And it'll help out also with the weight because of her hand being out here. It'll kind of help balance it out. So what's, what's neat about this in, in, a, in Clip Studio Paint is let me go to a, let me flip over to my hotkeys and go to one of my pencils like the sketch brush here, like what I used to sketch her with. I can now take, we're here, I have this layer on the top left here that we're going to make it as just, we're going to say sketch. And then we're going to do a new layer, a new raster layer, and we're going to do a BG sketch, or for background sketch. 
So that way, if we decide we want to adjust the background a little bit more and we don't want to draw over her, it doesn't matter. So what we can do is we can say, you know, we want to say give it a up, or we can do this to the side. Let me actually grab a, uh, let me shrink this size, pin this down a little bit so that way, there we go. So now we can actually kind of lay out, like say she's at a, we're going to put her at a festival here. So let's, uh, there we go. Something sort of like that bring that in we can uh, bring it over that way yeah let's bring it a little bit higher bring it down that way she looks great oh thanks Brian appreciate it brother so like I said we're just gonna kinda we're gonna kinda make like a little festival area almost like she's kinda posing down at this neat little area that we have we'll kinda give maybe a one booth area here this will be like a separation area Give like another here, and maybe we'll come down. Mm. Let's make these a little bit taller, something like that. All right, and let's go and we'll give like another spot here, another one here. We're just kind of fleshing this out how we're going to frame it. So. And of course, well, maybe we'll we'll make a like a taller story up here. There we go. Just to kind of see how we, how we want it to look. So we can do that, and of course, we also have like the floor in here type of area. So we'll we can always give it a little flat area this way. We'll give a little spot there, a little there. Kind of. I like how we want to do like the uh, maybe give that one a little bit further down so it has a little bit gradual gradual growth through with it all right so we got that now what's neat here is we have the perspective rule here on its own layer we can actually go here and we can turn off up top here we can actually turn off the special ruler and then I can just kind of any which way I want it doesn't bind itself to that anymore so what we can do is we can also take this and we can just turn that off and that goes away it's a little save button now we sort of have a little bit, a bit of a background layout to it and what we can do is we can actually let's see here now that we have our basis do we want to do maybe we'll give give like neat little lantern pieces so we can do that put a little lantern up here we'll put a couple down this way just kind of seeing how balance it out a little bit maybe that last one is a little bit Let's get rid of that last one. And let's see here. So we can do that. We'll give, can say we'll give one right about here. We can do two here. These would be like little lighted lantern type deal. That's what we can do. And let's see. We want to kind of these guys like they're gonna have like spaces inside here like these like little booth areas we can always give that oops wrong direction let me turn the perspective ruler back on for a second there we'll give a little bit of a like that so some of them might have a little counter area on these little booths so we'll hit that and we'll uh, turn that off off thank you all right but actually let's turn it on let's see maybe we'll give it some we'll work on the flooring area and we'll give a little bit of tiling oops I hope if we turn that on there we go oops help if I bring it up a little bit there we go and we're just kind of getting an idea so Alright, turn those back off, back to a free sketch area, and let's see here, let's um, kind of have to use a pumpkin because it has a nice little pumpkin area, so maybe we'll do that, give her a little pumpkin spot, actually she looks almost like she's a giant in there, and this is the other nice thing, we can take this and we can sh shrink her down a little bit more. Maybe a little bit taller. Just slightly. Give it a little 
bit of a alright so we'll have that we'll have like over here we'll put like a, a bin we'll probably put like some some fruit or maybe a vegetable maybe we'll put some corn in there and let's see here we'll have a, let's turn on the whisper script over here, over here and we'll kind of give these guys where they can see that and I guess we could put a couple of window sections in here like so okay and we could do like have sort of like a desk look so we'll have maybe a couple little cloud area something there maybe a little cloud up here Maybe not so much there. Maybe just a little bit of cloud like that. Okay. What else are we going to play with here? So we can give them all so we can do like a little, maybe the little sign, like a banner hanging off of this one in here. And this one might have like, we might do like here. Might actually kind of do like, like a little food area. banner off of the food portion there and let's see so what's everybody been up to I've been pretty busy with some airplanes I got moving on a new Piper Aztec airplane that's definitely been a little bit interesting so let's clean out this area in the middle here because we're not going to have any of that and let's see A little beam coming out. Same like over here, we'll get like a little, little wood beam catch. Back here, we'll do something similar to that effect. And what we can do, because there's a little, see, feels quite open up here. Maybe what we can do is we can give, maybe like there's like a little rope area that comes across that we'll have coming up to the second area, and we can maybe do a couple little. Do like a neat couple of lanterns up this way as well. Something like that. Well, that kind of has a little bit of a nicer feel to it. Let's go back there. Maybe I just had it. Maybe she she does feel a little bit too small. Let me bring her down. Maybe bring her feet down a little bit more. That might be a little bit better by having her a little bit lower on the page. Yeah, that doesn't that that starts to feel a little bit better on that way. Okay. All right. So we got that. Let's go over to the sketch. We'll work on her. I think because she's got heels, I'm thinking I'm actually going to give her sort of like a dress, like a, so she'll have, because it's, it's, you know, it's fall time, a little bit cooler weather, so maybe we'll give her like a dress area. Something to that effect. Maybe we'll clean this area up a little bit and just kind of. Yeah, not too bad. Kind of go like that. All right. Okay, well, I think we kind of have our, our basis of that. Maybe we'll let's um let's do a new layer. Maybe we'll put some uh wood background people. Maybe we'll just kind of have like, hmm. 
got some people hanging out, sort of like in the background here. Kind of just enjoying everything. So we'll, maybe we'll have two people here just kind of checking out stuff. Like kind of hanging out, holding. One's holding the other. Something like that. Keep them warm, enjoying themselves. Put something there. Hmm. We'll have, maybe we'll have somebody here kind of like checking in, looking at the, uh, maybe like this. Have them looking over at the, uh, at the food. Let's actually uh, bring them up a little bit on size. That one's a little small. Be a kid. I'm like a little kid hanging out over there looking at sack, looking at the snack area. Do that. We could have, um, maybe over here we'll kind of look like there's some people hanging out at the table. I have like a table here. We'll have, have like somebody hanging out here. Have somebody stand. This would be sort of like a, almost like sort of like a bar type table, but we can uh, have somebody here kind of hanging out. Kind of looks like a little bit of a busy area. Just marking them out to see what we want to do. So I'll do that. Go back to this background sketch here, and we can kind of make this look. I think we're going to put some corn in there. Maybe it can look like some bushels of corn. Some stock like that. All right. Okay, not too bad. So let's go ahead and drop the piece sketch people down that way. Bring that down a little bit down to 50 or 50 ish area. 50 ish area, and we'll go to the sketch. And let's see what we got. Hmm. Let's create a new, let's do a vector layer. I've been playing with vector layers lately, having some fun with that. Let's go ahead and drop her down also. And what we'll do is we'll create a folder here. Just have to label the folder sketch. That way we can put all our rough stuff in there. Keep it cleaned up. This one will be like a line art vector layer. Okay, do a little bit, of, start working on this one. Do I want to do the perfect pencil? That might actually work out. Maybe I might use a G pen, I don't know that. Okay, let's see here. Kind of got a little bit of a roughing of the face, but we actually do, I might do a little bit of adjustments on this. We might go for a little bit more of a cartoonish type look. Mm. All right. Doesn't need to be down that deep, probably. Let's actually go to uh, the G pen. See, a, yeah, I think I'm going to use the G pen instead of this pencil brush here. Kind of working a little bit more of a stylized, cartoonish type look. Not a, not like an anime, also, but more kind of getting kind of more of a cartoony feel. Maybe something sort of like a. Uh, Something you'd find like in a comic strip. Let's see here. Give the top part a little bit of a thicker 
true feel to it. it might actually work out pretty well. Neat thing about vector stuff. See how these all these extra little wisps and swoops that we got here? I'm gonna show you something cool with the vector stuff we got. So let's go to the eraser tool. And they have a vector eraser. So say, see how this guy blends back and forth through there? We can just hit it like that. Clean up some of them tips. Then of course we can also go to over here we'll hit this. We can go to the connect vector lines and we can actually brush in on this and this will actually close it off is actually pretty cool. Neat stuff. We can do that and close that off too. Clean up some of this. You know. Which is great also because then I can resize it up in big or small as I want and it'll still keep its same quality to it. Nice scooties. Alright, back to the G Pen. Alright, let's see here. So we kind of have that. We got this. We want to bring. Bring that through. And we will I think maybe like that. And let's just let's give her a little bit of a chin. Mm. How do we want to do this? I will tell you this, this workstation is infinitely, has been pretty, pretty awesome. Don't get much drag on anything anymore. Let's actually simplify this vector line, see if we can straighten that out. Isn't that cool? Can do a little bit of cleanup that way. Let's move back. Let's see. And let's straighten this back out well, yeah that looks pretty good so let's okay eraser clean that off okay <laughs> so we want to kind of give that a little bit there. And let's there we go. a little bit of a whip around. Bring that forehead on up. going to give her a hoodie because it's going to be winter. It's going to be fall, so I'm going to have to have a hoodie. I think. 
think I might Let's see where this guy comes up around. We probably want to do it that way. Maybe bring it down a little bit further like that. Clean that junk up. There we go. Alright. And we'll have to give it like a little a little dangle ear and just something simple. <laughs> that looks a little bit too too much for that. Maybe we'll just kind of leave it at that. Kind of clear up in the middle there. Type should we get? Maybe give her a hoop. What do you think? A little. Yeah, I might do. We'll leave it for like that for right now. We can always change it up. That's the beauty of this. So. down here to the sketch areas and let's take the whole thing down a little bit of a notch. That way we can see more and more of our actual line art. Mm -hmm. Now we'll give her, her an eyebrow there. And give her a little eyebrow in there. Just like so. Alright, doesn't look too shabby. I have to give her a name eventually. She might actually, this is actually coming out pretty decent. Okay, so let's go ahead and that way. And we will have to make this a little big. Nope. Moxie the Fox, 999. Hey, how you doing? You taking requests. Right now, I'm not really doing too much requests, but I appreciate... Oh, thanks for the like, for following. Uh, I usually do requests. Today, we're just kind of hitting this, but if you got a request, I can always put it, jot it down on my notepad, and I can try and hit it Thursday. If we get time today, we can do it. What's your request? Because I do my live stream on Tuesday and Thursday, so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> didn't really have one at the moment, or? Let's see. I'm okay with it Thursday if you can't do it today. Well, we'll see if we can get to it today. Tell me what it is. Well, tell me what your request is. Let me write it on my little, my little scratch pad down here. But don't... But what kind of art don't you do? Well, I don't do not safe for work art. I try to keep it clean, <laughs> you know, because everybody kind of watches this, so I don't do anything that that overt on it. So, but if you, you know, but I have done Halloween stuff and this and that, so to a degree of things. What type of stuff are you looking for? Oh, okay. All right. I try to keep that uh, that stuff. Try to keep it a little bit on the, uh, like I say, you want to keep it a little bit on the clean side here. That way everybody can enjoy. So, let's see. Give a little spun of that. I do appreciate the follow. That's definitely kind of you. This one's kind of just like I said. I'm just kind of doing like a little bit of a cartoony thing. Let's go ahead and let's connect that. There we go. And let's go back 
the erase here. Let's clean that part off. Clean that out. And let's see. You still there, Moxie? <laughs> Didn't scare you off, did I? That one did not turn out right. Sometimes it doesn't look work out right. Let's clean that up and we'll just kind of... I was looking for a Christmas drawing of a fox girl named Moxie. Oh, a Christmas drawing of a fox girl named Moxie. Let's see. Christmas drawing, fox girl named Moxie. Any particular details of Moxie? You know, anything, uh, certain colors that you like? Because we'll probably do some coloring on it also. We can. So we can always come up with something cool that way. See how that looks. Let's back this out a little bit. Maybe we'll do that and let's uh we'll clean up this a little bit differently here. Can send a reference. Oh, if you got a reference, um I don't have my I just got this new workstation set up and I haven't don't have the Discord or anything set up to where I can uh, really get that stuff but because it won't allow me to on here I have it set up to where I won't get get files and stuff I literally just got my this workstation set up from the old one that was kind of giving me garbage yeah unfortunately so I I'll, hopefully I'll have it back set up for Thursday to where we'll be able to get that to where it can be linked in it was a it was a mess <laughs> I couldn't just migrate my hard drive over and type of deal. Oh, let's see you're on Twitch. Let me see if I can see get my, my whisper. Uh, why is Twitch giving me a problem? Twitch is giving me a problem today. It's okay. Well you come up pop up on Thursday and stuff and we can play with it on Thursday. I'll like I said I'll have that back up and running and we can go from there with that and I'll I'll be able to pop the sketch up on there for our reference that we're going to use. And we'll see how we can put it together. So. Now, I, I, like I said, I got everything kind of blocked where it was more just off of the, the other thing. Reference is very easy to look up. Okay. Let's, uh, so let's go look up the reference. All right. Where you want to put in for the search for what should I put in for the search for the reference? Moxie the fox. I'm gonna, okay, let's see here. Moxie the fox. Nom nom nom. Me. Images. Oh, okay. So it's a uh, white and light blue. Nom 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 me. Is that yours? Uh, did you come up with that fox? Or is the the yes is probably to my first one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you just want her in a Christmas with a Christmas scene? Okay. Let's see here. Nom nom is the creator. Okay. An outfit, a Christmas outfit. Oh, so you don't want a whole scene or anything? You just want a Christmas outfit? Your own pose and style. Okay. All right, well, let's see. At least I got that. And so, well, we, we can try for that on Thursday. You know. That doesn't sound like a bad thing to do. We will give it a shot. So... Playing with this style right now tonight, instead of some of my other goodies that I usually have been running with. 
looking for a more simplistic, stylized piece type deal. Clean up some of this little extra junk on here. So, how will you know you're live? Well, it sends out, should send out a notification. You just did the Twitch, so it'll send out a notification. I do Tuesdays and Thursday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So as long as you have notifications turned on for either your Twitch app or for Twitch, if you're, I'm not sure if you're on a computer or if you're on like a mobile or a tablet or something like that, but if you got the actual Twitch app and stuff, it should send you a notification to you. So, and it'll show, but I do Tuesdays and Thursdays. The last two weeks, that wasn't just because the first two weeks ago was the, uh, my whole workstation it had to be swapped out and it was just a mess. So, and then last week I just had a lot of projects and con contracts I was working on. So, should be back up and running on that and we'll be able to, we'll be able to hit that out and have some fun with it. So, have to see. Maybe we'll do. Let's shrink the Jeep out. How do I got this guy set up? Is he set for? Should be for both pressure and tilt. Perfect. So, ah, oh, Scott, thanks for liking the stream, brother. I appreciate it, my friend. We are working our way back up on this. Maybe we'll. I don't want to do too much on it. Oh, you're gonna be doing it for Thursday. You can do a scene. Okay, well, like I said, I got it here on the list of stuff. We'll definitely hit it, and who knows? We'll take it as far as we can with it. You know, we'll play with it all the way. Not a problem there. I got an idea for it. The, actually, I can probably jam. Let me save this real quick, and I'll jump over, and we'll... I kind of had an idea for a Christmas idea. Let me shoot over to this page, and we'll do it and start a new, a new thing. Let's go to... Uh, sketch brush and I had a kind of a neat concept I will we'll jam out this concept real quick and we'll jump back to the other one so maybe we'll kind of do mm, want to do kind of a close-up look so I'll hit it like that and I'll give it a little maybe a little slight head tilt like that, what we'll do, and we'll give the eyes line about this. And let's see here. Mm, I'm not sure if I'm liking that. Maybe like that. Random drawing. Well, no, I kind of tonight I had kind of planned on doing a fall one, and I was going to hit a Christmas one. So, being you were talking about Christmas stuff, I kind of got this shot up in my head. So, we're gonna see if I, while I got it here, kind of fresh, I'm gonna see how we want to play it out. a little bit higher because I was thinking that for a Christmassy type piece let me go with my soft brush and clean out some of the uh, let me make it a little bit heavier there we go and this is this is not so stylized cartoony this is going to be more kind of anime manga look so we're going to hit with that so who is who is this that you're drawing this is just some random girl Nobody, I I typically just kind of come up with little spots. It's not like a particular person. I think this one, I, this one especially, I haven't come up with yet. <laughs> so, so we got this. Uh, just kind of making up as right as we speak. <laughs> and let's see, give her kind of like a little bangs. So. 
I, it, some people do ask for when I do I, I'll do requests also have people do requests for if they want to learn how to draw a particular cartoon character or animated character or something like that so but right now I'm just kind of kind of kind of had a little bit of a shot of an idea for what might be a neat little Christmassy thing so I'm just kind of roughing it in being it could I just popped into my head so and let's uh, go to lasso and see if we can correct some of these eyes. These eyes are a little off. Maybe bring it in a tiny bit, like about to there. A little slight rotation. So this is what you always want to do. You always want to just keep goofing off and playing around and adjusting and tweaking it first. If you... And then, of course, where's my flip? Oh, my flip thing, did I? Oh, I forgot to put the little thing on there for that, so. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. You have to, um, being I, I had the, the new, had to install the new software on my hotkeys, and also not all working, so. I got it here, <laughs> but it's, I it's not set up on there, so. I can show you guys how I do that, though. That'll be a quick little stop. Let me open up my stream deck. I'll bring drag it down so you guys can see it. So I can flip over here to the stream deck. This is like the actual, I actually had it as hotkey one. So what we do is we go over to shortcut settings. And this is how you can set up to where you can kind of have things a little bit easier on it. So we want to go to view, which is, this is in the menu command section, of course. So where is my view, 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 view. There's view, rotate, flip. The flip horizontal is always a good one. We can do edit shortcut, and I'm just going to label it as not number one. We just do one and hit OK. So now, when I use my hotkey, I can do it that way. So, neat little tech tip for that for Clip Studio Paint, to where you can set up all your stuff to where you're not having to use a keyboard all the time, and that way, one side's for drawing, one side's for doing all the rest of the goodies here. I still got a couple more to clean back up because like I said I haven't gotten all my buttons put back together yet but all right so where were we oh yeah so we're gonna kind of maybe give her some no too cross-eyed too cross-eyed maybe we'll make this it's still too cross-eyed I was messing with that one too, incorrectly there we go. And that's a little bit better. I was thinking maybe if I make it big enough, maybe I can put like a small little reflection area of another drawing inside it. So we might actually enlarge her out a little bit. So let's see here. But now I was thinking maybe with the hair, we'll let's try this, give it a little bit to where it actually runs down in the front. And maybe we'll give her like a let's see, maybe something in that direction. Let's give, for here, we're going to give her Christmas stars, you know the Christmas star, for earrings, kind of deck it out a little bit, so, we'll do that, and I was thinking maybe we'll give her sort of like a, let's run this up to her, her hair's not so flat. And I was thinking sort of like a little, maybe, well, not a, it's not a barrette, but it's like the little hair, little hair accessory that goes over the top, sort of like the half moon looking thing, but maybe we'll put like some Christmas ornaments on it. 
next little couple of Christmas balls. So, kind of make it to work. She's really decked out. Maybe we'll give her like a flower here as well. Give her a nice little. And maybe put. And we'll put a little thing, maybe a bow up top. A little bow in the top. That might actually look out okay. Actually, we'll do a bigger bow. Make it look like a Christmas bow. Girl's really in the Christmas. So, we'll do sort of a. Another flower that way. Hmm. Well, let's see here. Could do that. Give a little. Maybe we'll give it to where it has. Do another bell. We'll have them kind of like the bell back here behind the ear. Maybe behind the, with a flower. We'll put another flower over here. Okay, so we're kind of getting something with that. Those eyes are just not quite right yet. We might actually just go in here and let's see about recorrecting these eyes. I'm not liking them. Let's uh, let's try a different style. A little bit closer. Okay, so we move that and we'll do maybe like so. And we'll kind of let's get a little, I don't know, for some reason, I'm having a little bit of an issue tonight with that. Let's give her. Reflectionary. Something to that effect. Okay. Do this. Maybe bring these down a little bit longer. looking up maybe like at the top like it you can see like she's staring at the top I'll put a reflection maybe like the Christmas star at the top there that might actually look pretty cool okay so let's do that we're gonna have shawl or type of piece that'll go over that way. Maybe give it a little trying to think of like that Christmassy like soft like come up like a velour as it will think of sort of that way. And I kind of hit this way and just kind of give a little structure like that. And then we'll run it through here, look at the ear. Something needs to be here. Oh, that moxie thing. She had cat ears, didn't she? She was a little snow cat. Maybe 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 we'll put like little maybe. 
they're kind of like little chunky reindeer ears or antlers. <laughs> Who knows? Something to that effect. Yeah. Okay. So we got that. Uh, that sort of some. I was looking at something like that, and I was thinking about trying to put a picture in, in the picture by basically using the, the reflection of the eyes. So maybe we'll those eyes we might have to make look a little bit larger even you know almost like she's kind of like really give those gigantic manga eyes type of deal so let's uh let's actually do this those aren't we can work with those but what i'll do is i'll take them and let's cut them and put them on a separate layer and let's just take those off <laughs> and let's draw another set so let's let's kind of get the eyes socket area that we want to have first. So, and let's do a little flip. That's about the right size of the area we want, so now we will go from there and see how we kind of structure it out to where we be happy with it. That might be okay. Maybe like in here we'll, we'll have this, but we'll make it look like she has like the reflection of like the Christmas star on top of a tree. We'll run through. That might actually work out that way. Just. <laughs> talk about overly it's all out all out Christmassy all right so we've got that we'll have to give Mary's for the eyelid type deal okay let's take this and let's hit that we'll leave those as is go to the rat add a new vector layer go to the G pen and let's see what we want to come up with this girl is cute. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah, we'll have to come up with a name for her. But I figured this way, it, you know, kind of like, let's get a go all out for Christmas. I know it hasn't been Thanksgiving yet, but anyway, we're, I was playing with that with this one. So, but we're going to play with a different style. Things can change. Anything goes sometimes. Let's bring this thicker. Let's make this a little bit thicker. Yeah. Let's... a little bit so we have a natural being I'm left handed I go this way follows a better natural curve let's give the top upper eyelid a little bit of a thicker thicker piece she looks great thanks bro appreciate it brother that way.
to the vector eraser. Come on, vector eraser. All right. Not simplify, connect. There we go. And back to this. And maybe we'll give. sketch down a little bit more. There we go. Mm -hmm. Trying to see how thick some of these should be. rip through that. Nice thing about the vector eraser. Clean up some of those edges. There we go. Alright. Let's go ahead and just save this up for right now real quick. No, 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 no. I'll play with it later. Alright. Let's try, oops, wrong thing, back to the pencil. Let's try it that way. When going down doesn't work, sometimes go up. <laughs> up with a name for this little one. Let's see.
those glistening parts. Let's see. Something like that. A little bit of a wonderment type of smile. You know, just soaking in the magic. <laughs> Hope big brother time. Catch it Thursday. She looks great. Thanks, Brian. You have yourself a good night, brother. God bless. And don't forget, let's create something together, man. I'll see you Thursday. Mm hmm. Sometimes get that off. Let's go this way. Let's just let's just do it the way we I usually do it. Let me shrink it down a little bit more. Let's see. About there. Yeah. Don't want it to be too pointy. Want to kind of have a soft feel to it. Let's go and just simplify the vector line. Maybe this one. Yeah, that one looks good. Go to connect. Uh, nope, not that. Not that. Okay. bad. Let's give her and a little drop to it. This way, some to that effect. <laughs> some of that. There we go. Alright. What do we got? Alright, let's kind of keep moving around. She might look pretty good with that is let's go over this way. Let's actually use actually you know what? 
we'll use some of the, one of the other tools. We'll make a, an ellipse. And let's see. Mm, these be thicker. Go to 10. And what we'll do is we'll make some of the ornaments like so. And then we'll just clean off some of the stuff we don't need. Like that. That way we'll have a nice organic feel for what we've hand drawn and then the inner the actual like machine made stuff like the ball or balls and stuff will have a little bit of a difference to it. And what we can do is like for these we can actually kind of give her a neat little extra. Maybe give like how some of those ornaments have like their little I've seen some of the little decorative ones where they have like little danglies. Sort of like that. And we'll come in here and we'll just kind of run them. Mm, not quite. Let's go this way. That looks a little bit better. Like so. Yeah. That way when we color that, it looks pretty. <laughs> Oh, I could tell you where to, you could put the stars already. <laughs> yep. We're going to definitely make this look pretty cool. And I have to do a little background for it and stuff, too. Okay. Let's go back to G-Pen and let's, uh, let's get some more of this work done up here. <laughs> kind of go that way and we'll let's go back over here and let's put another one of the Christmas orbs over here clean up this there we go I haven't thought about a name for this girl yet. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Get that way. That's what I want. Let's try it that way. Give that a different feel to it. flower have it overlap her ear there we go. 
little flower put in over there. And let's go and we'll just add in some of the more of the Christmas ornaments. Okay, we'll hang like that. Let's put one up here. There we go. Maybe we gotta That one off. And let's clean it off in here as well. There we go. It's not too bad. Let's clean up a little bit of those ends. There we go. There we go. Let's go down to our sketch and drop it down just a little bit more. We're starting to get something pretty nice here. Whoops. Yep. All right. too harsh, I think. That looks a little better. There we go. <laughs> I know I can do a circle. Maybe. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this one 
one shot. That, I think that's going to be it. That's, that's kind of free in a little flower in here as well. Well, not a little flower, we'll do kind of a decent looking flower. See how we want to fill this in a little bit more. This other one here over here. This one should be about Grab some water. All right. <clears throat> 
Well, so far we're getting a little something cool coming out of this. Spirit o' Christmas is what we'll call it. <laughs> Let's see, we've got some of the light reflection. Maybe we'll kind of... Scrap me to do something like that on the other side here. Side start coloring it in a moment. Oh, at least maybe get the base colors down on it. All right. Let's see. Okay, we're kind of getting this coming along. We need to add some more details into down here. So let's. something cool. We'll get it in a second. Come to me. Maybe we'll do like a maybe another like a strap or something to a hmm. That might work. Let's see here. Let's go to the sketch copy. We'll go to my sketch brush and see if we can come up with something. We'll go to my sketch real quick here and see what we can come up with. Go do that. Piece at the other side of it. Just trying to think of a little bit of an ornate decoration piece that'll come down, maybe something like that. Kind of this goes up. I think we're going to want to adjust this. A little bit more. Maybe give a hint over here that we're it goes off instead. And let's see here. over to here. Let's change this from the layer over to the line art. Might as well keep everything organized. Let's see, we'll call this Christmas Dough Girl. <laughs> Version 1. <laughs> That'll work. And back to the G brush. Let's see here. That's kind of bring this on up and over. 
get the eraser tool. Let's clean up some of this. There we go. Maybe do some color on that to kind of give that a little more of a, non, a neat, more neat piece. sash piece here and we'll go on kind of give it like a little sectional like a clamp almost or a clasp I was thinking like here, whoops, let me go back to my brush, could probably put like it that and then we'll clean that area off. That way we can give it a hint like it's kind of going around over the shoulder even though we're not going to see it. some of this stuff. Okay, oh. so let's hit the save button on that. Let's go to, we're going to add, do start doing some color base on this, I think is what we're going to start doing. So as soon as this part saves, let's go and we'll add a folder. That way we can just store our sketch stuff. Grab our two sketch pieces and stuff them in that folder got line art so let's go and we'll do a new raster layer because you can't really color with unless you use solid colors and just complete solid so this will be our color base so we can refer back to and all right let's oh that is not the right color set where's my pr I thought I oh that's right oh there's my prisma colors I do a lot of analog drawing as well as traditional drawing and I use my uh, I, this is the exact same colors that are in all the Prismacolor colors right here. So when I do blending and stuff with that, I do the same thing to it. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this. And we're going to start just... Doing a quick block in for skin. It might make the skin look a little bit darker after this. Oh, do I have it on the wrong? Do I have it on? Yeah, I got on some track instead of add. <laughs> All that for nothing. Alrighty. that over there and let's do a little quick fill. All right. I think that might be too rich. Maybe we'll give it a softer because it's going to be cold. So we're going to kind of give her maybe like a like a soft color. Eh, maybe maybe not that soft. That might work for a base, and then we can do light and darks to that. Yep, that should look okay. Okay. And let's just... Alright. Alright, so we're going to make... Actually, we're just going to label that as skin base. And... 
error base. This is going to be all the colors. And maybe we'll give her a brown. Let's see how this looks. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, that type of brown. That looks better. We're just going to do it this way. Kind of do a rough piece of it, and then we're going to come back in. Oh, I just realized. I just saw that I missed a piece. Let's go ahead and go to there. And we're going to take it like that. And I just realized good little line art here and let's, let's hit that color that color and let's go back up here let's deselect that so I can I just realized I missed some of the well just look up a little hair spots right here there we go and Go to lasso tool, go back to the hair. And now what we're gonna do is we're actually going to go to our magic wand, hit for the skin, lasso tool. Let's uh come up here and we're going to see how we can do this nicely. Start subtracting. Like more Excel. Had to remember which way I was going with it. It can get a little confusing sometimes. And I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm doing this so that way this only this part so when I hit the delete button on the hair base it'll clear out <laughs> so. couple areas where we want to go back and we want to add on to the mask so that way we have a nice clean line Let's see what it looks like delete right up here Good. Let's go ahead and hit that part and 
let's go back to the subtraction and clean up just a couple of these little areas. That and now we should be able to hit boom. And that way we can do our hair base. And we'll come back over here and we're gonna That way, we'll delete there. Okay. will be the eyes. We'll do the eye base. And you don't want perfect white. You kind of want like an off. Maybe. So let's because you don't want it bright white and your eyes just look like they glow, like they'll glow in the dark. Let's give this a rotation upside down. Sorry about all the spinny. Seems a little offside right now just because of the way the hair is and I haven't done anything in over there. I'm thinking maybe we might actually take a little bit off here to get that eye, the eyes to kind of pull in nicely. Okay. Oh, just seeing the spot on the base we want to clean up too. Add another layer. I'm going to do a base. This one will be the pupil color for the base. And I'm thinking we're going to go with a little bit of a greenish color. Well, maybe not. Maybe we'll do maybe a turquoise. Because we want to be able to bring the reflection of the tree and the light and the. Uh, so it's going to look a little strong at first, but we're going to we're going to clean that up. So uh, 
let's go this way. This is basically so we can go through here and we're going to clean everything as we go. Because when you, when you do it this when you start out, it does seem slow at the start, but what it ends up being at the end is, um, here I'll show you, uh, like this is one of the pieces when you do a lot of layers that you can actually get a lot of different colors out on it. So, and this is what all this is, like you'll see over here, all these, you know, like this is all the hair coloring, jewelry colors. So, uh, the shoes down below. So, another piece that we got to finish up on. But anyway, that's why it, it always starts out like this, very basic and stuff. And it seems a little sluggish and slow at the right start, but once you kind of get everything laid out, you do all the basic steps down on it, you're actually good to go. Let's uh, subtract. Go back to the add part of that. And What's going to be nice is once we fill this like this, I can just go to the magic wand and now we can kind of go, all right, do we want this color instead? Maybe that color might be a bad, better color. Because I was going to go with a kind of a greenish color, but I want to have the tree in there and the light. I mean, the, the, the star will have a nice yellowish tint to it in there. So, but I think that's just too much. That might be too much blue. Let's go to the, here and see if we can correct it or adjust this a little bit. Let's go to that color and maybe we can bring it back over a little bit to the green side. Yeah, that might actually be okay. What time we got? Oh, it's 8.42. We're almost done. Unfortunately, I only can do like two hours at a time, so. Let's go over here to the hair. And let's fill. Whoa. Let's fill it with the right color. Just kind of clean up some more pieces. Fill. And delete. All right, Let's save that for now. So we got this one. We actually started laying some color down, and this one we started from scratch with this morning, kind of a fall-looking festival thing we're gonna do. So we we'll might we'll play with these, and I got a request from Moxie for a Thursday. So these are both saved, and let me flip over and take the glove off. All right, well guys, girls, thank you for hanging out with me tonight. Uh, had a really good time. We got two art pieces that we got started out. We got a good layout for them all, so we'll be able to uh, keep continue on with them. I got a couple other pieces because of I'm backlogged now because of the two weeks I was down from the live stream. So I'm gonna try and get those done while all on the off time where I'm not live streaming, and then I'll post a time lapse on them. So and those will either be on uh, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. And I got to remember to try and get them on YouTube. They're a little bit slower to kind of put the time lapses on YouTube. But I think I'll get those put on. And then um, that way you guys can see some of the other projects that we had. Frontier Man, good night. Yep. So you guys, thank you for hanging out with me. Have a great night. Have a great Wednesday. God bless. And don't forget, let's create something together. I'll see you guys on Thursday. Take care.